Hello, is that Halfords? I'd like a hundred flags for my car, please. Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. England 2, Germany nil. It's coming home and world in motion, Vindaloo. It's absolutely fantastic and I tell you what, this game is a results industry. We saw fantastic football last night. We didn't see it today, but England are through. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I would rather beat Germany 2-0 like that in a game that could have gone either way and be through than play in an amazing game where it goes all the way to penalties and then you lose. Winning at this stage is what it's all about. We take the win, we take the momentum, we never play a back five again. We start Jack Grealish every game. England, tournaments, we don't know what to do in a tournament. You speak to the French, you speak to the Germans, they will say, sometimes along the way, you've got a grafty way through. And that was a grafting performance from England. We didn't concede again. A couple of good saves from Pickford, a couple of bad misses from Germany. But you know what? We took our chances, our big chances. Grealish changed the game. You know, criticism about the way we picked. I don't think Southgate picked the right team, but we won the game. You know why I don't think he picked the same, the right team? Because who changed the game? Did we look like scoring with Sterling on the left, Saka on the right? No, we weren't. Nothing was happening. Did we look like scoring when Grealish came on? Well, we created identical goals. Jack Grealish is a creator. That's his job to create. The first pass to Shaw is weighted perfectly. Shaw's first real overlap, goal Sterling. The second goal, get it to Grealish. Cross comes into Kane, 2-0. Grealish was the game changer. Grealish needs to start every game. England defended well. We rode our luck a little bit. But ultimately, we won 2-0. It's a results business. And that's what it's all about. There were some great performances. There were some dodgy performances. We'll do the player ratings in a minute. But I tell you what, we're in this tournament. And what did I say last night? This tournament's wide open. France are gone. They're massive favourites. You know, if we'd won this game tonight and France was still in it, we'd go, we've got a good path to the final, but can we beat the French? We don't need to worry about that. We can beat anybody. Anybody can beat us. We could lose to Sweden or Ukraine. We could, If we beat them, we could lose to Czech Republic or Denmark. And we could certainly lose to Belgium or Italy or Spain or whoever else is going to be playing in that final. But what we can do is we can beat all those teams. And what we can do is grow into this tournament. And what we do have is a semi-final and a final at Wembley if we can get through the quarter-final in Rome on Saturday night. It's huge. It's massive. It's exciting. This is what... Winning is all about so many times, so many years have we been in this situation and we've been sat here at the end going, I can't believe we're out. You know, we've missed the penalty or we've made a mistake or we've had a red card. And look, if it wasn't for Kyle Walker, Declan Rice gets sent off. And if we're down to 10 men, we're out. You know, if Muller could finish, it's 1-1. Loads of things could have gone wrong in that game, but they didn't. And I look at it and I go, this is what winning's all about. I think so much of our time as England fans were there looking at the whole, oh, you know, this, that, coulda, woulda, shoulda, unlucky. We almost we almost embrace being an unlucky loser. Well, we're not embracing being unlucky losers now. We're embracing being a winner. And but if maybe, oh, you're boring, you weren't very good. If Muller had scored this, blah, 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 blah. Watch the score. It's 2-0. We're through. Let's enjoy it. Let's let's be merry. And then let's build towards Saturday. Safe in the knowledge that we're going into a quarterfinal where we will be the favourite. We're going into a semi-final if we get through that where we will be the favourite. And if we get through that, we're going into a final at Wembley, which we've never been in since 1966, where we will have a home crowd as well. Boris Johnson... Get this COVID thing on track. Get it sorted. Get 80,000 into Wembley and let's do this. Let's bloody win a trophy for the first time ever. That Goldbridge Gaza haircut is looking more and more likely. I'll do it. I'll more than do it. I'm over the moon. I'm absolutely over the moon. Look, if we lose that game, Southgate gets the sack for me. He wins it. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. Give him a new contract because that is a big result for England. And, you know, the football might not be great. But ultimately, we won the game because he did what we want to happen. We want Jack Grealish in the team. He brought Jack Grealish on. I don't think he normally would bring Jack Grealish on. He did bring Jack Grealish on. He refused to bring Foden on, Mount on, Rashford on. He brought Grealish on and Grealish changed the game. I didn't think he'd, I didn't, I didn't think Jack Grealish would be his first substitution. So I just want to say, you know what? I'll criticise somebody when they're bad. But I'm also mad enough to be... A, a woman enough, I would say, but I'm not a woman. Um, I'm man enough to say... Look, if you do something right, you will get the praise. And I think that's how football should work. We're all very quick to be vocally angry when things that we don't like don't happen. But when things that we do like happen, you've got to also be vocally 
yes, come on, that's great. And I thought the fact that he got Grealish on was fantastic. And he changed the game. And he's got to play next game now. And if Grealish plays in the next game, I'm confident we can go and bloody win this. I think we can win it. I really, really do. Uh, smash a like on the video, by the way. Make sure you subscribe. The watch along was immense from start to finish. So many people tuning in really, you know, shared the load. And, and, and we also enjoyed the, the payoff if you wanted England to win. Player ratings out of 10, 6 being average. Pickford for me was a 7, maybe even a 7.5, maybe even an 8. Um, I'll give him an 8. We've just beaten Germany. Pickford was fantastic. Man of the match contender. Two big saves from him. Werner in the first half. Havertz in the second half. Um, starting with Trippier. I don't think Trippier played well. I'd give him a 4. I thought Trippier was, was a passenger. Rhys James should play in that position. But hopefully we won't play with a back 5 again. Trippier was a 4 for me. Kyle Walker gets a 7. I don't think he played great. But he stopped Declan Rice. You know, I've, I've called him a Leighton Orient right back with pace. But he stopped Rice getting sent off. That pace from Walker... He's the only player on the pitch that would have caught Goretzka. And if he hadn't been there, that's a red card for Declan Rice as the last man. So seven for Walker. Stones was a six. Maguire was a seven and a half. I thought Maguire, well, I think Maguire should have scored a goal. He's so good at winning headers, but he's so bad at directing them. But I thought Maguire played well, seven and a half. Luke Shaw, eight. I thought he was fantastic. I don't know why people criticise Luke Shaw. His engine is ridiculous. And where Trippier offered nothing down the right-hand side, Trippier, uh, Luke Shaw offered loads. He, had, he got an assist. He, had, he played the pass to Grealish, who got the assist on the second goal. Uh, Luke Shaw was an eight for me. Uh, Declan Rice grew into the game. I, I wouldn't have given him a seven at half time, but I thought in the second half he was fantastic. Seven. Phillips was a five. I don't think he played very well. Um, who else? Zaka probably give him a six and a half. I thought he did quite well in a difficult game where he had a useless right wing back next to him. Six and a half for Saka. Sterling's got to get a seven and a half. You know, he, as soon as he went to the right wing, he started to pass the ball better. He got on the end of the goal, seven and a half. And I give Harry Kane a seven because he scored a goal. You know, he came into the game. I thought Sterling and Kane had a bad game until Grealish came on and then suddenly they looked great. You know, three goals for Sterling now. He's got three goals. He could be looking at the golden boot. Um, Harry Kane's off the mark. But they were, you know, before Grealish came on, five or six for those two, when, when Grealish came on, who I would give a seven and a half as well, Grealish was a game changer. You know, everybody played better around Grealish. What a player Man City are going to get there. So my man in the back matches either Pickford or Luke Shaw or probably Jack Grealish. I can't really pick um, between any of them. Um... I think I'd give it Grealish because, the, you know, Pickford kept us in the game. Grealish won us the game. Grealish was the game changer that everybody responded to. Kane got better. Sterling got better. Shaw got better. Rice got better. As soon as Grealish came on, four players went up a level and we took the game away from them. So for me, Jack Grealish was man of the match. What a fantastic result. Uh, make sure you smash a like on the video. Subscribe bottom right hand corner. We've got to get to the final now. I'm not going to say we're going to win it. Get to the final, it's at Wembley, and then we can live whatever happens there. But we've got to get to the final now. What a thought. England should be getting to a major tournament final for the first time since 66. We've got to do it. We can't underestimate the opposition. Look at what Switzerland did to France. But we've got to do it now. We've got to do it. We've got to build, grow, and get better. And Grealish has got to start every game. Thanks for watching. Smash a like. I'll speak to you all in a bit.